Have you visited www.bbanksalabasterbox.square.site? Then you don't know what you're missing. Let's take a look at our home screen. On the home screen, you'll see where you can shop now online. You can book appointment at the Alabaster Box. You can see all of the feature items that are available. You can sign up for the newsletter. And you can contact us directly. You can also see other categories by clicking the three bars at the top. You can hit shop all, which will now open up a screen where you'll see all of the items in any order uh, based on alphabet A through Z or you can filter them so that you can see them by newest, by price point. You can also hit the categories button to see all the available categories. Some of our categories also have subcategories such as women's bracelets where you can click the subcategory to shop. You can also book an appointment by clicking the three bars at the top left and then you'll see where you can have in-person shopping by 30 minute increments, curbside pickup, or consultation if you would like more services. Don't forget, we now offer gift cards. That's correct, the B-Banks Alabaster Box is proud to announce that we are offering electronic gift cards where you can send out for the holiday season, birthday occasions, or just because you love someone. What a perfect way to celebrate your friends and family. To the B Banks show. Get ready to sit back, relax, grab a beverage and some snacks. Because we're about to chat, laugh, talk about a lot of hot topics while showcasing these fashionable pieces for every trend. You are the co host, I am the showcaser. Let's get ready for the B Thanks Alabaster Box Show. Starting in just a couple of seconds. And now, let the fun begin. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Alabaster Box, where I am your host, B. Banks, and this is my Alabaster Box. I hope y'all are having a wonderful week. We are at the top of the week, guys. I haven't seen you all since Friday, and I hope that you are ready, okay? Now, I hope you're staying connected with everything that we do Alabaster Box related, because we're putting out reels, we're putting out stories, we're putting out posts on all different social media. And if you're not keeping up, you're missing all the beautiful pieces, sets, and things that we're pairing and showing together. Now, don't be stingy. You share that stuff out there because there's somebody out there just like you who's watching now who would like those items, all right? So if you're new here and you're not seeing that L-I-V-E button, that means you're watching the replay, but do not be dismayed. You can still shop today by simply placing your item in um, your item number in the comments. And if those items are still available, it'll notify me. I mean, I'll get a notification of your comment. I'll then let you know if those items are still available and if you can still purchase those items for sale today, okay? Or if there's something similar that may appease you if that item is now sold out, all right? Also keep in mind this QR code 
code is all the ways to connect with us on social media platforms, website, and everything you need to know about being a part of the Alabaster Box or shopping with us at the Alabaster Box, all right? So with that being said, if you're watching, make sure you're watching me in horizontal or landscape mode because although you may be watching me from your chosen platform, I am streaming to several platforms at the same time and, on, and I am on none of them, okay? So you wanna make sure that you understand that, all right? So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Let's get in the room, okay? Let's get in the room and let's make this happen, all right? So let's go ahead and get it started. I hope y'all are having a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I see y'all are in the box. Hey, Miss Tamala, how are you doing? She said, hey, Brand. I am Brand, and <laughs> it's even in my name. Uh, I'm in the box. Thank you so much. Look, she's already tagging. Look, she's already coming in ready. Hey, Mr. Demetria, how are you doing? Come on in the box. I tried to tag. I don't know if it did it, but I tried to tag. Y'all let me know if you get a notification. I did try to tag everyone to the live in the VIP group on Facebook. That's our B Banks Alabaster Box VIP group. If you're not a part of that group, that's the exclusive group, the group that gets all stuff first. You want to make sure you're a part of that group there. All right. With that being said, thank you so much, Tamala. How are you doing? How are you doing? With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So remember, all items are nickel and lead free. So you don't have to ask that question because we know that information now. Remember, don't be shady. Be a lady. Hit that like and share button and let the people know about all the great things happening here at your local Alabaster Box. Now, remember to claim an item. You'll simply comment that item number or item numbers that I assign that item or items, and that will get you that item. You don't have to do a lot of extra, just the item number and how many of those people pieces you would like if there are multiple available. Now remember, I do charge a flat rate shipping fee for shipping and handling. However, if you're local to DFW Metroplex, you can pick your items up simply by going to my website, which is also attached to that QR code that you'll see in a momentarily. Um, and you can go schedule an appointment or book an appointment and then you, they'll give you an option for pickup and then you'll schedule your pickup day and time. That will then notify me that you would like to do a pickup. I will then go and remove your $5 flat rate fee prior to paying it, um, I mean, prior, you, prior to you putting your invoice. And then once I do that, you'll receive a notification that your invoice was updated, and then you can pay for your invoice that way, and we'll go ahead and take care of your appointment. Now, I can decline an appointment if it doesn't work in my schedule, but I try to honor all appointment days and times if it's feasible for me, okay? If not, I will make a, uh, I will communicate with you to make sure that, um, that, that you know, we can work that out, all right? Um, outside of that, guys, um, there, remember, there are multiple ways for you to connect with us. So we would love for you to connect with us. One of our ways of social media, whether it be Instagram at b.banksalabasterbox or uh, in, uh, a TikTok at b.banksalabasterbox or our main group, which is uh, Facebook at bbanksalabasterbox.vip group. I mean, uh, I said VIP group. I said dot VIP group, but you know what I meant. Um Uh, Twitter at the underscore Alabaster BX or YouTube at B Banks's Alabaster Box. Now, YouTube is a fun one because when I'm streaming live there, which I am right now, all of my lives are streamed to YouTube pretty much. Uh, it's like a collection of all of my lives on the B Banks Alabaster Box page. You can then use your smart TV, your smartphone, or any of your smart devices through your YouTube app, and you can watch me on those devices that have bigger screens versus your cell phone. And then that way you'll be able to watch me on a bigger screen. You can share with, um, um, you can um, share that with your family. You can start and watch it with your uh, your daughters or with your husband. Or you can do a whole family affair by watching it through YouTube versus on your cell phone. So it's always a great way to watch us on YouTube, and it makes it friendly and fun for you if you have those smart devices. All right. Last but not least, just just remember that I am a small business owner. So we hashtag support small businesses over here because we definitely we um, we need your support. It's your likes, your shares, your reactions, your comments. All of those things make a difference in how we are seen on social media uh, with the algorithm, okay? There are people out here that are definitely getting seen. If you like what you do at, at what we do over here at the Alabaster Box, I ask you and I implore you to make sure you're sharing, you're tagging, you're hitting us reactions. Stay active in the comments. You believe it or not, the social media looks at the comments. If the comments are moving, it, more people will come in. It's just a natural thing. But if the comments are dry, then, then the live will be dry, which means there will not be other people come in. If you want other people to come and see what you're seeing, then you have to be active so that social media algorithm will pick it up, okay? That's just a little bit of social media one-on-one, -on -one, and we always want to make sure we're being active in the algorithms because we want other people to come and see what's going over here at the Alabaster Box, okay? Nobody does it better than the box. So, hey, you got to come on over here and do it with us, all right? 
Um, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started, guys. Uh, we're going to have a good time tonight. We're going to go ahead and officially open the Alabaster box. Once you see those jewels flowing, that means we are definitely about to see some things. Now, tonight is going to be a night of looking at some of our uh, great items from the past. I'm even gone into my vintage area and I put out some vintage things and I'm really feeling set happy tonight. I don't know if I'm going to do everything as I said, but I'm feeling set happy tonight. So I just want you to know the energy I'm giving is set. So if you want to see some sets, you don't have to buy them. I'm creating these. You will not have to purchase any of them as a set, but I am feeling the energy of a set tonight. And if you would like the set or if you just want certain pieces, you're able to do that through the item numbers that I'm going to be placing with those tonight. However, before we get started with that, I want to um, show you one item that came from convention, my convention setup. They did arrive. The missing item that I did not have is now here. And I want to make sure you get a chance to see that item, okay? So we're gonna start off with that item. And then from there, we're gonna just kind of roll into some vintage pieces and hopefully have some fun tonight. I hope you like what we do tonight. Um, if you don't, that's fine, we understand. But I do hope um, you will like what we're gonna do tonight um, and have some fun with it. Again, you know, we love to do things that can be sometimes traditional, but sometimes very unique and just against the grain. Not all the time is it a 100 hit. I can tell you that now, we don't always hit it on the 100 hit, maybe for you, but we want you to see all the fun that we get to have here. All right, so with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and start with our first item of the night, and we're gonna kind of build a set around it because I'm kind of excited to show you. First and foremost, this is an urban necklace. It was missing from our show that we did uh, from the fall preview from convention last Friday. So last Friday, we had we had the fall preview, we had LOP, we had so many things going on last Friday. It was a jam-packed uh, live, so many new pieces. I showed over 30 or 40 new items last night on Friday and that's the most I've done I know in over a year so I have not done that many so get ready because I'm telling y'all this year we're coming out swinging and so with that being said guys look at this necklace now it's been in the package so it's not completely uh sitting all the way loose yet but you'll see this this is a good convention piece yes we had fun I think we had fun I know I did this is a great convention piece and this piece is fun because it's an urban necklace. So it doesn't have any complimentary earrings or anything. It is definitely uh, marketed towards our men's line. However, you know, our women love to take these men pieces and have a good time. And I'm gonna show you how you can turn this into a, a fun, feminine, feminized look, even if you like it, but you're like, that's for a man, okay? So first and foremost, you're gonna see that it, ha it starts all the way at the back, all right? It does have an adjustable clasp to each extender. It has white crackle stone, uh, beads. It has black beads. It has, as you see, the range of colors from green, blue, orange, purple, and red beads, okay, as well. It has other cracked stone pieces with the actual stone look, um, a different texture of that. You have a different type of blue bead. You have gray marble beads with the white. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see all of this, but it's a really fun, colorful necklace that really makes it fun. Uh, it definitely gives more of a vacation beach vibe for our men, okay? So you're gonna get to see that look, okay? So you'll see that gray, well, that's kind of got the white stre streaks in there, okay? You got black with those little black white specks, the white crackle stone, okay? You're gonna see all that color. Look at that color, that color assortment. I'm coming back around the other way. Look at that, vibrant colors, very vibrant, okay? That's gonna make it fun and easy to work with. You're gonna have all that crackle stone, okay? So this is a fun one, oops, oops. Okay, sorry about that, y'all. All right, this is gonna be a fun one to work with, to play with. Um, again, it has a adjustable class with a two inch extender and it doesn't have any complimentary earrings because it's an urban necklace. Again, it's geared towards our men, uh, but it's there. Now this is gonna be number 440. All right, we're starting off with this 440. I can't wait to see how I'm going to work this into my wardrobe. Okay, I'm trying to see what outfit will look. What can I wear this with, okay? But 440, if you like this look, this is going to be our only new item of the night. Everything else is going to be vintage, but 440 is going to be the number for that. You'll see that number again. I actually want to show you how we're going to feminize, feminize this look um, in just a second. So I actually have some ideas that I've already brought to the table. Uh, for this one. Normally I work off cuff, but I was, I want to start off with a little bit of a bang. So I definitely picked out a few items and I'm going to show you how we can feminize this and give a couple of different styles uh, to this look, okay? So first and foremost, 
okay? If you like a little beachy vibe, then if you're one of those girls who like a little bit of the men pieces, you like some of those pieces, you don't always want to look just super, super feminine, how about you just place a set of earrings with that and then you can make that really give a cute vibe. This is great if you're gonna do a simple denim look or a denim jacket look. This is gonna be great if you're wearing just jeans, a nice little basic shirt, a little simple t-shirt or camisole shirt or any of those basic little undershirts. That's gonna be cute, it's gonna make it really easy and it's gonna keep you very just kind of urban and natural. You're not gonna feel like you're walking in overdressed or too blingy or any of those things. You're gonna be able to really just kind of blend into that zone, okay? Again, this is gonna be under number four, 40, but this is not the only look. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. So that's our first way you can kind of feminize that necklace, even though it's a great one, okay? I think that's a cute one. Thank you for the heart for whoever loved that. I'm hoping that you're enjoying uh, that look, okay? I'm gonna put that to the side and we're gonna look at another way we can feminize this look. And I have another um, another look that I had already kind of pre-picked uh, for this one. Let me get back to it, hold on, let me. Get my mind right. Where did I? Okay, here we go. Now, if you really want to take this and go a little bit, all right, let's mix it up. Hey, Miss Bailey, how are you doing? What's going on? How are you feeling? We, you know, Miss Bailey, we ain't hung out, and I'm kind of feeling some type of way. All right, I'm kind of feeling some type of way, but I know you ain't been good. But I'm trying to feel some type of way. We ain't hung out a minute. I feel like we ain't chopped it up. You know, I'm feeling some type of way. We gotta switch that up. All right. So look at this one. Okay. Now, if you want to be a little more feminine and you want to be a little less beachy urban vibes, then go ahead and pull this look out, okay? Again, this is an urban necklace. But it doesn't come with any complimentary earrings, but let's really do it right here. We're going to add these white seashell earrings, okay? The white shell earrings that cascade down there on the silver fishback hook. Really, really cute, okay? Really cute earrings. Look at that. It has a nice sheen to it. They are very cute and small. You're going to love that. That is a really cute look. But we're not done yet. We're going to switch the earrings one more time, and then I'm going to come back to these earrings because I really want to create a fully realized look for you. So I'm feeling a little bit better these days. My birthday on Monday. Want to hang this weekend. Uh, we can try. You know, if we can squeeze it in. If we can squeeze it in, y'all. My weekend is taking off real fast. So we can try. We can definitely try. I'm glad you're feeling better though, because that's important, okay? You gotta feel better first. You can't be kicking it and you're not feeling better. Who does that? <laughs> Who does that? So if paparazzi has some wood hoops that will go perfectly with those, not for sure if you have them. Some wood hoops. Wood hoops, are they brown? I have two pair of brown wood hoops, and no, three. Three pair, four, four different pair of brown wood hoops, and I don't. It depends on which ones you're talking about. It depends on which ones you're talking about. All right, and then if you really want to mix it up and have a little bit of fun, now this one is going to really break up that monotony a little bit and add a little bit of color, not playing safe just on the white. Now I'm pulling out the white crackle stone here, all right, but I'm adding a little touch of gold. Okay, we're going to add that element of gold in there, and these are going to be there. So they are a bone-ish color, wood earrings bone-ish color. Hmm. So that means they're white. And they're wood? You sure they're wood? All right, so we're gonna add that gold with the hammer. These are post bag. They have that white crackle stone that's gonna pull out that white crackle stone there and add another color if you wanna keep it kind of edgy, a little less contempt, a little less modern or contemporary. We're gonna kind of go more edgy side. So you may like that look as well, okay? So that's a look, okay? And that's again, all of these are still under 440. I'm just mixing it up. Now we're gonna actually pull a full look out of that, just showing you how you can do it. Now I've put those two different earrings together, but I mean, those three different pair of earrings, but I'm gonna work a full look off of the second pair of earrings, which are the shell. Those are really my favorite um, out of it. All of these I like um, to go with this set, but I think the shell are really gonna give me what I want when I'm talking about feminizing this urban necklace, okay? So we're gonna feminize this urban necklace. Now, I know that it's about that time that I get ready to do a men's show. It's been a while. So y'all know that a men's show is just around the corner, but we're gonna do what we like we just did with this set. We're gonna show our men their pieces, but if they don't come out, then we're gonna still feminize the look so that you can see how you can take some of these 
popular men pieces and make them your own, okay? And that's what we wanna do. We wanna make those pieces our own um, and we can show that it'll, it'll really give you a different look compared to the other uh, ladies, okay? It'll give you a total different look. All right, let me get a ring and then we're gonna have a fully realized look here. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. I really think I want, let me see, yeah, y'all know I have options. I mean, I have options. You know how it is, you know you got options. You can kind of do what you want to do. So how is everyone's week going, okay? How are your week going? Let me know. Are you having a good start to your week? We are now Tuesday. In just a few hours, we will have been Wednesday. If you didn't see y'all, the LOP items were secured. So if you did not see our LOP items last week, um, or if you didn't see our post in the VIP room, you may want to go back and look because those LIP, those uh, LOP items, I say LIP, those LOP items have been secured, okay? Those have been secured. Now, don't forget, guys, I did forget to do this at the top of the show, but our giveaway is always available. Um, but you trigger the giveaway. So to be a part of the giveaway, make sure you come on in and speak, tag a friend, and share the live. Those are three distinctly different steps. Tagging and sharing are two different steps for those who may not be as familiar. They are two different steps, okay? Tag a friend, share it to your page. But they are two total different steps. Um, so just make sure you are ready. If you want to be in our, if you want to trigger our giveaway today, make sure you've done those three things, okay? A bonus color, Demetri. I'm trying to think about what brace, which one are you talking about? All right. There's a, a bracelet that I'm looking for that should have been right here in my face. But I'm not seeing it. Hmm. Okay. There's another breast I'm thinking of, and I don't see it right now. It's going to make me mad because I know what I'm looking for. But it's okay. All right. Um, let me get a ring real quick, and then we're going to move on. I know I've been on this set for a little minute, but just, just bear with me. Just bear with me because it's going to be worth your while. Just bear with me as we're building this look, okay? So I want to make sure you get a good feel. All right, so as soon as I put this ring on there, we'll have our fully realized look, um, and we'll be ready to move on to the next one. I just want to give y'all a good look. You know, you know, sometimes building beauty takes a moment. Building beauty takes a moment, amen? Amen. Building beauty takes a moment. Some of y'all don't believe it. Y'all don't believe me today. Y'all don't believe me today. Y'all saw I put that blue set, um, on my reel, if you hadn't noticed, I put a reel or a story out with that blue set. I'm just featuring that blue set. Actually. Okay. Yes. Come on, amen. See, I knew somebody could feel me. Everybody didn't catch that amen, but that was a real amen. Amen. I'm looking for a particular ring. Give me just a second. I'm just trying to gaze real quick. If that ring is in my face, or did I move it? Right. Let me get the right, the right ring. Thank you. Come on for the amens. I'm here for the amens. 
All right, I'm, I'm right at the cusp. Let me get this ring out. Everything else is done. I'm just trying to get this ring. Let me find this. Let me locate the ring that I'm looking for. All Okay. We're gonna go. I got my backup ring though, so we're okay. I think we're gonna be good. All right. Remember, we're going for an urban style. All right. Remember, we're going for an urban style. Um. Okay, looks like Facebook might be having some trouble with the streaming. All right, I'm looking at this comment. Looks like Facebook, looks like I may be having some trouble on the on the VIP page. I just got a notification uh, that there may be some issues on the streaming side. So if you're on the VIP page and you're struggling, you may need to switch to either my YouTube or my personal page, okay? So we're gonna come with this look right here. This is gonna be our fully realized look. I'm trying to keep it trendy, different, and edgy all at the same time, okay? So I don't want it to be overly feminine, but I definitely want it to have kind of, um, the vibe I'm going for is baggy jeans, okay? Not tight jeans, but like a baggy jean look really loose, really uh, comfy, comfy looking with a nice like oversized baggy type of top, you know, that kind of sits off the shoulder. It's not fitted, but it's just kind of loose and comfy for those who like comfy dressing. I'm thinking of that, okay? So when I'm when you look at this look, that's what I'm seeing in my head is a like a baggy, comfy look. You know how we wear the oversized shirts or like the oversized sweaters or anything like that where it's just kind of loose and it just really feels comfortable. You're not trying to be cute and prim and proper, but you just kind of be kind of normal and walk and be comfortable all day. This is what I'm thinking of when I'm thinking of this look okay you got that nice urban necklace you put it with the, the earrings which gives it that feminine touch okay then we pair that with a a bracelet a white crack stone bracelet with a little bit of bling just a touch of bling you got that white crackle stone and that silver there and it's a stretch bracelet and then we paired it with this ring, which is very uniquely different, okay? So you see that upside down teardrop. It's kind of like that white opal-esque stone. You got a little antiquing, that darkening around the edges, and then that dot motif. This is a wide stretchy back ring, okay? And just pulling that together, that ring kind of pulls in. It's gonna pull that white look out. You're gonna still get that nice cracked stone pulled out there. We're gonna pop out that shell and then have that little bit of color around our neckline, but accentuating the white. Now we could have done that with color. We could put some colored earrings with it. We could have done a couple of different things to make this look. And that what makes this necklace fun. You could do your greens. You could put your oranges or your browns with that and make a cute look. But that's gonna be the look I chose for this um, for a fully realized set. That's gonna be 440. Thank you for the heart, whoever that was. 440, okay. 440 is gonna be the look for that set. But if you like another pair of earrings, just let me know if you wanted pair one, two, or three. Um, this was our second pair of earrings. There was the first pair of earrings that had that wicker look. And the third pair of earrings had was the gold with the white crack stone, okay? 440, we're gonna keep the show rolling. I'm not gonna belabor the, cost, the, the feeling of the moment anymore, okay? We're not gonna belabor that moment anymore. We're gonna keep the show rolling and get into some of these nice vintage pieces, okay? But if you like any of those pieces we showed, just let me know, 440, okay? Hey, Miss Jacqueline, Call uh, Miss Jackie Jones, how are you doing? What's going on, my friend? All right, we're gonna get into some vintage pieces tonight. Let's have some fun with it and get into these vintage pieces tonight. Now, I can already tell that y'all's energy is down. I'm feeling it already. Okay, 
So let's get it up, okay? You said, happy early birthday, Bailey. Look at you coming in with all the birthday wishes. Look at you coming in with all the birthday wishes. Look at her, come in with it. Yes, that's what I was saying. We are still live. The, I don't know what's going on in the VIP group. I got a notification that there was an issue with Facebook. That Facebook was having an issue and it stopped the VIP group only. But we are still live. I'm so sorry to hear that, Mr. Mitra. I was telling them that, that I got a notification that something was going on with the VIP group while we were streaming. So I don't know what, what the issue was. I'm hoping that it's resolved. Okay? I said I couldn't get back in. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the VIP group. I just got the notification. Yes, okay. So we're gonna start with the vintage piece, okay? And so this one is one of my faves, okay? We have What A Gym, okay? It's one of our simplest blockbuster pieces. For those who like simplistic pieces, you're gonna love, love, love this piece, okay? It has a nice dainty silver chain. You're not gonna be able to clasp it up close. And it's so simple because it just has this cute, stone okay this cute bling stone look at that it has all the iridescent colors in there i mean it's just cute it's not too big or too small it's gonna be great this is also a great necklace if you're going to layer and you like layers you could layer another necklace or two with this and create your own look now this almost looks like a piece that's in that um a life of the party necklace that's coming out that three that three stone necklace okay so that's gonna be really cute now we're gonna build a look around that y'all know i was gonna do it y'all know i had to right you have to what well, i would do myself an injustice if i did not build us a look around that necklace okay so let me grab us a piece real quick it's such a simple piece now i could do some studs and i do have studs that will match perfectly but i don't want to do studs i want to be different because I'm a different type of guy, okay? So, I'm gonna keep the uh, the earrings simple. That's my goal. I'm gonna keep the earrings, I mean, I'm gonna keep the necklace simple, but I'm gonna make the earrings stand out is what I was trying to say, okay? I'm gonna keep the necklace simple, but I want the earrings to pop out. Just a little bit, okay? We're not gonna overly do it, but we're just gonna keep it cute, okay? So we're gonna come up and then I'm going to add a little bracelet and a ring to that. And we're going to have us a fully realized look in just a second. Okay, so just keep that in mind. I already got my ring. Okay, we're going to add us a cute little set and pop that out. Now, y'all be, y'all must be occupied, baby. Y'all are quiet. Y'all not feeling it. Y'all energy is low. Y'all energy is low. Okay, pull that energy up, friend. Got energy low. I can feel it. Okay, here we go. So now we have a fully realized look, something that's gonna keep it simple, cute, yet trendy. All right, we took that simple What a Gym necklace and we added us some elongated earrings, okay? Post back earrings that have the white stone. So that's gonna really create that long length, that slenderizing look, but keeping that stone right there in the center and you having all the bling there, it's gonna be a nice centered look coming from all the directions, okay? And then we paired it with a bangled bracelet, this silver bangle bracelet that, um, okay? And you're gonna see with this silver bangled bracelet that that bracelet has uh, has been encrusted with white stones. Thank you for the heart, whoever that was. All right, you got that encrusted white rhinestones there. It is a bangled bracelet, very simple. There it is. Yes, I know, I can tell, cause y'all are like quiet. When I say like very little comments, you know, y'all be fired up some nights. Last Tuesday, y'all were fired up. Tonight, not so much. It's okay, I get it, it's been a long day. Trust me, I understand. So that's why I'm not even staying on here super long tonight, okay? So look at this. Look at that, okay? That ring, it's a wide stretchy band back. You got the texture, you got the bling, perfect. So it's gonna give you a fully realized look, okay? You get that fully realized look, again, with those elongated earrings. And let me just pull them up a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. 
that's gonna be a really cute way to center that necklace right in the center. Keeping the necklace cute and center, but letting the earrings be that overly feminine portion of your look, okay? If you like the necklace, the earrings, the bracelet, or the ring, or if you want the whole set, all you have to do is comment 441 and let me know what you would like. If you want the whole set, if you want the bracelet, the earrings, the necklace, let me know which piece you'd like, okay? That's a really cute set. 441 would be the number. 441, my little bracelet won't stay even with it. Okay, there we go. 441 would be that number. 441 for that look, such a pretty, pretty uh, look. And a great one to wear for your everyday. That's a cute walkout, everyday look, okay? We're gonna go to our next look as I move this to the side. Okay, as I move this to the side, we're going to our next look and put these back. Okay, and And again, we're showing vintage necklaces tonight. We're building off of the necklace. So the necklace is what's vintage. All right, if you're asking, I know I did say vintage pieces, but I didn't tell you what was the vintage. So we're going off of vintage necklaces tonight. These are pieces that have been, um, been around for at least over a year um, and maybe even longer than that. Now this next piece is gonna be a really fun one because it's a longer piece for those who like those longer statement pieces, but again, still simple, because again, I'm going for that trendy, everyday look you can wear. You have a coil necklace, a silver coil necklace all the way down, and a pendant where the necklace has been fed through the pendant, so it definitely moves on the neckline, okay? Very cute, simple. That stone is in silver, that silver stone or gray stone, some of you may call it, and that's gonna be a really cute pendant, that color. I love the way it's been defaced, as you can see, like those little triangular looks, that's the facing, the way it's been kind of cut to make it edge, to have an edgy look. Really cute, upside down, upside down tear, I mean that teardrop. And it's a very reflective stone, it's a reflective silver. You have a little bit of hematite right there on the side. Really cute stone, okay? That stone is gonna be a great one to have, okay? A great one. If you have the adjustable clasp with a two inch extender, I didn't even show you the earrings on the other necklace, but there are little drops as well. Uh, a little bigger than these though. And then these will be your complimentary earrings, as you can see. And they have that hematite stone or that gray stone in there that you can see. The hematite stone is in there. Um, and that's gonna be those. Now on the other necklace I just showed you, I didn't show you the complimentary earrings. They're gonna be white drops. They're gonna be bigger than, um, let me just show you. I don't want to confuse nobody. This was the necklace we just showed before, the little What A Gem necklace. Those are your complimentary earrings right there, okay? Those are a pretty nice size, okay? Pretty nice size to go with that particular piece. All right, so we're gonna um, build a look around these real quick, okay? We're gonna build a look around that and let's see what we come up with. I'm excited because that one, um, that one is going to be a different tackle for me. It's going to be a different tackle. Okay, I see my agua, y'all. I know you get thirsty. You get a little thirsty. All righty. We got our earrings that make it the ring together. Man, I have a ring coming in that would have been perfect for me. But it's not here yet, so we're gonna go with what we got. We're gonna go with what we got. And then, you know, our number, um, perfect. Hold on just a second, let me grab this right.
when will LLP be in? Um, it's, I think it's going to, sh- I think they shipped it off today. I'm not for sure. If it wasn't shipped off, I had an order shipped off today. I'm not for sure if it was that order or a different order. Um, I've actually been ordering some new releases. I ordered some new releases today. Can y'all believe it? Y'all, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I honestly hadn't ordered new releases in almost a year. I was ordering some new things, but y'all know I really wasn't ordering a lot last year. I hadn't really been ordering new releases. When I was ordering, I was just kind of doing it late at night when I had time because it was so busy last year. I didn't have time. My schedule was really busy, so it was hard to stop, do a hard stop when new releases came out. So this is the look that I built around the necklace. We're going to talk about it in just a second, but I just want to try to get a moment to see that. But it should be in the next couple of days, um, Miss Jackie. Um, they normally come in pretty fast, so I'll probably have it by the weekend, if not on the weekend, okay? So this is going to be our fully realized look. We're going to take a moment and pull it in. So remember, we're built around this vintage necklace right here. Really cute color. This was our, our piece, our stable piece. And we added these earrings to it, okay? They're going to have that same color, that silver grayish, the hematite, a little bit of black. You're going to have that silver stone in there. You're going to see a little bit of all of those uh, shades of that color in there and just different stone colors. So we added this. If you remember, these earrings came from a fashion fix set, okay? And I still had them available, so I'm going to pair those with that so we, we can repurpose, all right? And I paired it with the bracelet that came from the fashion fix set to pull out those colors and really have some fun with this. Okay, this is an adjustable class bracelet with a two inch extender. You'll see that same stone color in there, but you got the hematite, silver, and a little bit of touch of white and black. And then I paired it with that ring. Y'all know I love this little ring right here. Okay, that ring right there, that gunmetal ring with the white encrusted stones. We paired that, thank you for the heart, okay? And I think that makes a really cute, fun, realized look it's a really cool one in case you don't see because that is a longer stone so you can see all of it together i mean it's a perfect pairing look at that that is beautiful but that's that necklace stone really takes the cake okay if you like any of these pieces or the set again i'm building sets but you don't have to order the set all right that's going to be number 442 if you like any of those pieces off of this set number 442 We'll get you that. This is a cute piece right here. I don't know how many necklaces I have. Okay, I had to look and see, but I know I don't have that many of that particular necklace. So if you like it, just know that it is probably a one and done or a two and through. 442, again, you have all this. You have all these great pieces here that you can see. A beautiful, beautiful rendition of all these pieces. Okay, you know that necklace earring is a directly matching set. I mean, necklace bracelet is a directly match, matchy set. And you have that, all right? So that's 442 if you like any of those pieces, 442. Now, y'all know um, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm working education by day. And let me tell y'all, these people ain't bringing these kids to school. These kids are still out, they on vacation. I don't know where the people at, but the people ain't coming to the classroom. I don't know where the parents be, and then they don't understand. And all the people that waited till last minute to register their students, um, and they get mad because they having to wait, the line is long, it's taking a while. I was like, man, I had to tell a woman yesterday, I said, ma'am, I said, don't get mad at us. I said, um, well, I wasn't in there registering, but I was in there at the moment. I said, y'all, I said, please be patient and don't be mad because you can see the frustration on their face. I said, please be patient and don't get mad. I said, you have a whole district um, trying to, you know, do enrollment on the same day because y'all waited to the first day of school, but y'all could have enrolled y'all kids for the last couple of weeks. Um, you don't have to wait to the first day of school. They make it very easy for you to enroll students these days. And y'all waited to the first day. And so it really caused, um, you know, and, and she kind of backed down. She was just getting frustrated because the process was taking a while and they were having issues where it was like, the, I don't know if it was the internet or the, the website that they were enrolling at was uh, taking a while to do anything. I said, well, ma'am, you have a whole district trying to enroll over, you know, a hundred and something thousand kids. I said, and people are all doing the same thing y'all are doing, waiting to the day of to enroll. The process is not gonna be fast because it's getting overwhelmed at one time. There's a lot of people using the same application 
at one time. It's not meant for that. It's meant to do it, but when you have thousands of people doing it at one time, it's gonna it's gonna get jammed up. You get jammed up if somebody was using you. You know, <laughs> a thousand people were using you. It just happens. All right, our next vintage piece, y'all. This is gonna be a nice one in gold. A nice vintage piece. Again, this can be urban, trendy, fun. Look how beautiful that piece is. I don't have to zoom in or anything. It has a nice filigree touch. You can see the, the up and down vibe that this has. Yes, it will crash the system. And so, you know, people get mad because they're thinking it's our fault. Like, y'all not doing enough. Y'all wasn't ready. It's doing too much. The Wi-Fi down. But it's not us. It's y'all. The system wasn't made for the whole district to be on there at the exact same time. It, now, it's made to handle a lot. But when you have almost 300 schools doing the exact same thing at the same time and, you know, you know, hundreds of people utilizing their program, it's not going to hold. And it wasn't meant to. All right. These are the complimentary earrings that come with that piece. They're actually a really nice size complimentary earring. So we could really take that as a base and use it. But I'm going to actually upgrade the earring. OK, just so you can get something a little different out of it. So yeah, so you know, sometimes you gotta teach people patience, and you know, she was really nice. The lady was really, really nice. I just kind of said it to her, um, you know, out of you know, just because I could see the frustration in her face, and just was trying to help her. Okay, so that's gonna be that piece right there. We're going to now put a fully realized look with that. And so, if y'all notice, I've been kind of coming behind me first. Um, the reason why I do have many earrings, but I, I like to try to use what's on my wall just because it's fun. Okay. And it creates a fun environment. Yeah, so, you know, when people get a better understanding of what's happening, they usually calm down. It's just they don't know what's up. They, don't, they think they're the only one. And I'm like, man, that's the first day of school. And there's a lot of people that waited to the first day of school and not to come in on time. They came, people coming in at 10 o'clock, two o'clock. I mean, people come in late. People don't understand. I said, long are the days when people took care of business and really care. You know, these kids can't take care of business the right way because their parents allowed them to come in late. And I, you don't know what people are going through, but you know, we allow them, we show them that it's okay to, to not do things right and properly. So they don't do things right and properly. So, you know, training starts at home. And when the home ain't doing right, Neither is that. I mean, and they could have been at the doctor appointment. We don't know, but I'm just saying. When you see people coming in late, lacks of days, so like they got all day, it just shows that, you know, there's no no urgency. Even though it's the first day, there's no urgency. I'm going to have my hand surgery done on Friday. Prayers for my doctor and me. Oh, Miss Jackie. We definitely got to lift you up in prayer and keep you lifted in prayer because I know that can be a lot, but luckily it's your hand, so... That won't, it shouldn't be as bad, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. It shouldn't be that bad, right? Are, they, are you going to be, uh, or is it going to be a day surgery or is it like a surgery surgery? Are you going to be out for a little while? Let me know. I'm almost done, y'all. I'm just putting the bracelet together. I'm putting the bracelet, I'm going to get my bracelet on here and I'm done with this look. Uh, is it a day surgery or is it going to be something where you're going to be in the hospital for a while? Should be a day surgery, but it is my major hand. Oh, your dominant hand. It's your dominant hand, the one you like you write with and everything. Oh, that means you're gonna have to use a different hand for a while. Oh, Miss Jackie. We're gonna have to pray God speed on your healing process. I hope Mr. Charles can cook. Cause you're not gonna be able to cook, huh? All right, guys, here we go. This is supposed to be a fun, flirtatious look. It is meant to kind of have a couple of different elements going on in it. So uh, this is what I see. And y'all know when y'all pair y'all pieces together, y'all don't do all matchy-matchy pieces. Y'all be putting all y'all little favorite pieces together. So this is kind of one of those 
ideas where it's gonna be like that, okay? So this is what I chose to do with that necklace, okay? I'm going for texture, I'm going for looks, I'm going for uh, opposite li opposing lines. So if you remember in the necklace, you saw an up down wave pattern, you can still see it, okay? I paired it with these upgraded earrings that have a back and forward wave pattern, but an opposite way, okay? Prayer, your surgery goes exactly as planned and you heal. Yes, thank you so much, Miss Bailey. So you'll see that it has rhinestones, a little bit of rhinestones. <laughs> Rhinestones kind of coming across, yeah? We'll be on a starving diet waiting on Charles. <laughs> so Mr. Charles don't cook. I got, or he won't cook. Maybe he can cook and won't cook because you know, we have those kind of people too. So you have those. I think that's a really cute texture design, a good play on the eye. And then what we did here, I'm sorry, I didn't zoom in on the earring so that you can really see them. Let me zoom in on those so you can see the what's the detail of what's happening there, okay? So here are the earrings. See how you have a little bit of rhinestone, but you also got that um, that boxed link look, okay? That square link, that box link, where it's boxed in and make like a cube. Really cute earrings, okay? And then um, you'll also see, I put it with an adjustable class bracelet. I haven't shown this bracelet in a while, but this bracelet actually was a part of a fashion fix uh, piece, okay? Hey, Miss Kang, what's going on, friend? How are you? Are you back at work? How is mama doing? What's going on, Miss Kang? Tell me what the tea is. What the tea is? Miss Kang popped up here. So then I put it with this pearl piece. Now this is a fun charm, like almost like a charmy bracelet. You have an adjustable clasp with a two inch extender. Look at that, you have the pearl pieces, but they're enclosed or encased. Some of them are encased in a gold ring, which really adds another element. Look at that nice, big, chunky, twisted chain. Love, love, love. And then I paired it with this ring, which is a wide strip band bag. You have the gold amber pieces there with the white, uh, those encrusted white stones in there, okay? It's a wide stretchy band back. So just bring out all the gold element and to really have fun. So you got a little splash of white in there just to give it some color, okay? So I have been practicing with my left hand in case I see a piece of jewelry I like. <laughs> oh, Miss, Miss Jackie, you are funny. You are funny. Thank you so much for that. So look at that. You said, I just woke up. Mother's coming along. How are you doing? I'm okay. I'm glad to hear about mother. Thank you for waking up from your nap and finding us. Okay. And I'm all right. You know, I'm making it day by day. You know, it's a recover, you know, it's a it's a recovering process, but I am making it. 443, guys. If you like any of the pieces in this look, you do not have to buy the entire set. But if you like any of the pieces in this look, 443. And then let me know if you want the set, if you just want earrings, bracelet, or what pieces you would like of this look okay 443 for that look i think that's a really fun flirtatious look you can really go out and have a good time with your girlfriends with that look and not be overly dressed it's going to be a real fun one okay all right i'm going to go to another vintage necklace we're going to do another vintage necklace look. We haven't even hit an hour yet, y'all. Can y'all believe it? All right, we're going to do another vintage necklace look. And again, I'm going for simple looks. I'm not trying to necessarily be like over the top statement pieces today. Um, I don't, and you know, the funny part is we don't even wear over the top statement pieces on a daily basis. Very few people do, all right? Some people like chunky thick statements and then some people just like simple every day. I'm looking, I'm going for the everyday trend. That's what my motivation is tonight. That everyday look so that you can switch it up and have some fun. All right, our next vintage piece it's going to be this particular necklace right here. Now I have this necklace probably in brass and gold too, somewhere. But this is a fun one. This is in silver. You have those nice big O-ring chain links. You have your tassel, you have your little tassel or fringe, okay? Your chain link fringe. You also have your beading, okay? You have your beading, but you'll see that as well. All right, oh, Miss Jackie. Um, I took care of you for that request that you sent me. You've already been taken care of. All right. Really cute. So look at that. Okay, that's a really cute, there's a cute, fun, flirtatious one. This is one you can wear to work easily and have a good time. I love it that it's kind of spaced out. It really gives a definition. Okay. And it makes it easy to see the movement in the necklace. Okay. Fun, flirty necklace. Let's go ahead and pair that. 
for some fun pieces. And I, um, my inspiration for this one, again, this one is supposed to be, again, that trendy urban look. So I really want to provide that trendy urban look. Um, and so what I'm going to do is do this. You said what? <laughs> you asked me, did I have your something ready for you? A Z piece ready for you. I took care of you. That Z is already done for it. So, oh, okay. Yes, ma'am. You said, it's the hair for me. Look like it's super long these days. I mean, you know, it's got a little bit of length. It's not, and this is great. I mean, it's got a little bit of length. Y'all, look, I can, <laughs> every, every time I do that, I feel like my head get real small. <laughs> Y'all remember how they do that little, little cartoons with the girls' pit ponytails will go up. So, oh, will you have time to show me gold and silver butterfly rings? No, Harry, I can wait. Gold and silver butterfly rings. I don't know if I have any butterfly rings. I'm gonna have to look that and see. I have one, I have two rings I know that has a small butterfly on it, but just a butterfly ring. I don't think I have just butterfly rings. I'm, I'm thinking about that right now. Just a butterfly ring. Miss Kane, you always do this to me. You made me think. <laughs> Let me see if I have what I have in my rings. I'm, I'm looking, I'm double duty right now. I'm gonna look and see what's in my inventory because I may have forgotten something, but I'm gonna look, check and see real quick. So give me just a second to kind of, to look at, to look at it. All right, I gotta get a bracelet and then I'll be ready to show this uh, set. What a fly ring. All right, let me get the bracelet for this and then uh, we're ready for this look. I think you're gonna like this look. It's gonna give a nice, huge urban feel. Let me, <laughs> Why you put the the that look on the uh, that surprised face? I'm I'm looking I'm I'm look, but I don't think I have a ring that has a but I have two rings that have a small butterfly component. Like there is a butterfly on the ring, but it's not a big portion of the ring. Um, not to where it's like it's the whole butterfly ring. Oh y'all, look at us, we getting there. Okay, here we go. We're about to show this look. Let me see. Let me adjust the bracelet real quick so I can get it on here so you can see this look. You have everything. <laughs> you think I have everything, don't you? Mm -mm. And the only butterfly ring, the butterfly ring I would have had, man, I, 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 I fell asleep and did not order when the fashion fix piece came out. I would have had that butterfly, that butterfly look as well. So we'll see. Oh, yeah. I think I might have loosened this too much. I'm trying not to get the bracelet to sit on her right, but I think I loosened it too much. Let me get back up a little bit more. I require a full butterfly ring, Mr. Brandon. Come through. <laughs> I don't have a butterfly ring. Now, we had a set that we just did the other day that was really cute, Miss King. You would have loved it. But I don't have it no more. And I didn't order, I didn't get to order it because I had fell asleep. And y'all know, sometimes we had those late night releases and my brother was tired. I was tired. All right, here we go. Here's the look. Let's see if you like what I did. All right. So here is our fun urban date night 
vibe look okay i'm gonna let you i'm gonna let it sit here and marinate in your spirit while i'm looking for this butterfly ring for miss kang let me see i'm trying to make sure i ain't no liar miss kang i just don't remember one off the top of my head okay so here we go this is that necklace i paired it with these post back earrings that have that silver stone and the tassel y'all know i love these earrings although i know that many of you never got into them probably because of the color palette but again sometimes the items that make us look the best are the items that we don't necessarily gravitate to and i've learned that people give me so many compliments and things i normally would not wear okay when i try something different so these are cute to keep that tassel fun fringy look i paired it with this adjustable class bracelet that has multi strands you got you can see you have your, like your strand of um you have your strand of chain link you have rhinestones in there okay there's four strands so you have uh three strands of rhinestone a small and two medium like two thicker ones and a smaller one you can see all three of them right there but you probably don't realize the size difference and then you have that chain link that's an adjustable class bracelet okay and then we paired it with this ring that's going to pull out that silver in the earrings and just a little cute pearl this is a dainty stretchy back ring okay a dainty back ring so it's going to be a tighter fit for the smaller fingers i think that's going to be such a cute component to add that little pearl in there and to do that that's such a fun piece okay if you like any of the pieces that i just showed you in this set again you don't have to buy the set but you can buy the set or you can buy the individuals 444 okay and that was built around this vintage this vintage necklace 444 would be the number so i was out twice and the waitress adored my ring so i gave it to them i have those earrings in the oil spill green and blue fun earrings do you really i have never seen them in there so you have some i have you gave your rings to the waitress what what rings did you give miss kane you real nice giving the people the jewelry you giving the people the jewelry you real nice and i have another ring i could have really put with this i'm thinking about this yeah 444 well thank you for blessing the people with the paparazzi all right with the alabaster box 444 if you like any of the pieces in this set 444 fun set all right fun set miss kang you bless the people with the jewelry the butterfly rings gold and silver what butterfly rings gold and miss king i'm trying to think about what butterfly rings are you talking about you probably didn't get them from me, Miss King. I don't think you did. A butterfly ring, gold and silver. I don't have a butterfly ring, gold and silver. If I did, it's probably been sold out. But I don't. I don't. Remember, I don't even recall having one. Miss King, you're gonna have to. You have to run it back. You're gonna have to run it back because I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you have a picture with the ring on your finger? Some I can see. I don't know, Miss Kang. What you saying ain't registering yet. It ain't registering yet. All right, y'all. I've made several. You said nope. Well, then <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think what gold and silver butterfly ring. Let me see if I let me see if I can find it. Give me a second. But I know I don't have it. I can tell you that now. I don't have it. All right. All right. This next look is going to be a long necklace that we're going to uh, we're going to pull out. Okay. And then it's a vintage necklace. A vintage necklace. They didn't come out with a butterfly bracelet. Didn't didn't they come out with a butterfly bracelet? Uh, it was one in the fashion. Yeah. There's been a couple of butterfly bracelets. Yes, ma'am. There has been. Um. Okay, Miss Kang, before I show this next piece, is 
Is any of these the ones you're talking about? Now, y'all know I try to be technology savvy. All right. Are any of these the ring you're talking about when it pop up? Okay. Are you talking about any of these rings? Let me just do this to make it easy. Do any of these look familiar, Miss Kang? Because those are all, not all of them are paparazzi, but most of them are. Any of them look familiar? Let me see if I can find another one that is. Do you see it? Is it any one of those right there? Now I know all the, I know those were paparazzi. Yeah. Any of those? Let me know. Okay. Let me know if any of them look familiar to you. I'm moving them to the side real quick while you can do that. All right. Our next vintage piece is going to be a fun towel, another necklace that has long silver dainty chains. Flauntable. Okay. Got you. So you're talking about uh, not that piece. You're talking about this one. It came in gold and silver. I never had that ring. You're talking about this one. Yeah, I never had that ring. You never got, you didn't get that from me. I never had that. <laughs> but it came in gold. Yeah. That ring. Yeah, I don't have it. I never had it. So yeah, but dainty silver, <laughs> silver chain, you have this, this pendant that has tassels and black beads. You have a circle within a circle and it has a little bit of hammering on it. Okay. Yeah, I never had that, Miss King. But that wasn't from me. You said, yep, that one too. <laughs> yeah, I never had that. All right. That's that black beaded. And then again, you'll see there it has beading and tassels in there. And this one's done flipped over. Oh, there we go. All right. So it's going to be a simple, a simple piece. Again, I'm going for everyday trendy looks. Some of us like the longer necklaces and the and the and the movement, okay? Because they definitely give a lot of character and movement. Nice energy there, okay? We're gonna pair that with some stuff, uh, with some items real quick. And I want to provide just a little nodge of uh, color, but I don't want to do too much. I'm gonna keep it very simple for this particular piece, okay? Keep it very simple. We're gonna pair some pieces with it, okay? I'm sorry, I don't have that one. Now, I may have got it for you. It, it's, it's possible that I might have gotten it for you, but yeah, I never had it. It was never one of my, my pieces. And I would have to do some digging to find it for you again. But I'm sure I could, maybe, possibly. We'll see. What I do. <laughs> this king is not my fault now. I didn't do it. <laughs> I may be able to see if I can find it for you. I'd have to look and see that. But I may be able to see if I can find it for you. But I have to do some hard digging and there's no guarantee I'll find it. But if I can, because those pieces like that go fast. People don't keep up with those pieces like that don't usually last very long. Butterfly stuff tends to go very quickly in this world. That's just a you know a little notch. The ding, Mr. Banks, come through. <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll see if I can find the flauntable in that other one. I'll see what I can do. I can't promise you nothing, so don't begin your hopes up. But I will try. I'll put my feelers out there and see what, what it brings back for us. Um, I have a ring I'm looking for, y'all. Forgive me. Um, I'm looking for a particular ring, so give me just a second so I can pull this look off. But, you know, I can only put certain certain rings with this one because of where it's made. Now, 
that's the way it is. Where's that ring? I've been looking for that ring so long. I found some I was looking for, y'all. I had been looking for that ring for a minute and I just came across it. put the bracelet on and we'll be ready for this fully realized look. Okay, give me just a second, y'all. Grab the bracelet that I'm thinking about. Here we go. This look is going to look a little something like this. Okay. All right. So I came up with this look for this particular set. All right, so you're gonna see uh, kind of a high-low type of look. You're gonna see a little bit of a glammy style, but yet you're gonna see kind of an urban trendy style. So again, we know that we use this vintage necklace as a base, all right? That has a nice pendant with a black fringe chain. I paired it with these simple earrings. I wanted to keep it simple. I didn't wanna go too glammy, okay? So I kept it with a simple pair of earrings, really cute and they're on fishback hook, okay? Then we get to the bracelet, and that bracelet is got the black beading. It's a stretch bracelet. You have that black beading, and then you have white rhinestones there with a little bit of silver, so that silver-black combination is gonna come in on this stretch bracelet. And then bring out this ring, which is gonna just give us a touch of glam, that black stone that's the face with white little rhinestones in there. It's a wide stretchy back ring. That's gonna bring that black and silver element right into the wrist wear, the arm wear, silver earrings. And then you're gonna have, again, you're gonna see that kind of ring within a ring vibe between the necklace and the earrings. And then the black, that black beading at the bottom. I thought that'd be fun and a great way to pair all of those pieces together. If you like any or all of the pieces, let me know. We're gonna call that number 445. Okay, I'm kind of standing far back so that you can fully see all the pieces. Okay, but 445 for any of those pieces if you like them. 445, I think that's a really cute, regular, everyday look that you can walk by and still have fun, but still look good. 445 if you like any of those pieces, 445. Okay. All right, y'all gotten really quiet. That means I feel like y'all are probably through tonight. But I'm gonna finish strong real quick. We got a few minutes left. I wanna do at least one more look before we get completely up out of here. I may do one or two looks, but I wanna at least do one more look. I didn't finish everything, but I definitely wanna do that. I know it's getting late. I don't, you know, I try not to keep y'all on super, super long. Um, but yeah. Okay, here's another fun summer vibe. Again, colorful, a little splash of color, but it still gives that everyday vibe. This is really cute. I think this is a one and done too. This is a really cute one, okay? You're gonna have your blue and green 
beading. You got silver beading as well. It's, again, it's gonna give that fringy look. Okay, it's still hot as heck here in Texas, but it's hot around the world. Yeah, I heard about them grass fires that's happening everywhere. Hawaii, overseas, they're having grass fires crazy. Okay, and wildfires. You got that nice O-ring. All right, so y'all make sure y'all ain't throwing no cigarette buds, not sparking nothing. You know, might need to water your grass. I, I've been looking around my foundation. Y'all know I still got a lot of stuff going on. Stuff going on. But I think I'm going to try to water around my foundation because, I mean, it's been, the ground is dry, y'all. The dirt is pulling away from the house. Like, it's dry. It's just crazy. Okay, so that's a fun summer vibe. You have the adjustable class with the two inch extender. We're going to build a look off of that. Okay. We're going to build off of that look. So I've been seeing the grass fires that's been happening on the side of the freeway here. There have been wild grass fires here, especially like in the Cedar Hill area. Lots of grass fires, okay? So be careful because, I mean, the sun is doing its own damage. All right, we don't need to help it out at all. So I hope y'all are being safe out there. Tell y'all people stop throwing stuff on the ground, okay? Um, a second oh, perfect perfect why was i not thinking it didn't come across my brain to now but it's gonna be oh that's gonna be beautiful that's gonna be beautiful friend i'm excited for what i'm about to do have you ever gotten excited for something that you about to do that you just didn't realize she was about to do okay like, I'm excited. Oops. Let's see. You know, I appreciate y'all. Y'all ain't talking to me, but baby, look, the view, y'all are here. The people are in the building, they just quiet. Y'all ain't talking now. I feel like I feel the energy is low. I can feel y'all's energy is low. Y'all tired. Today must have been a hard day for y'all. It had to be. All right. Oh, y'all gonna, oh, this, yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be a fun look. Let me see. Let me see. We're gonna see what it's gonna do in just a second. Yeah, all my people cried tonight. Today been a hard day on y'all. I can feel it. But I appreciate y'all for still being here, supporting, because y'all don't have to do that. I still hear supports in me. I had a ring change in my head. A ring change. This is probably my last look tonight, too. Yeah, because we're running out of time. All right? So that's okay, because we do what? One, two, three, four, five, six. This will be our seventh look. I normally try to do 10 with do stuff like this. It said seven period took you out. So you are back at work. I'm sure you know one of my friends, one of my former students is there. Brand, uh, Brandy, what's her name? She was on TV just a few weeks ago with an organization. Just a few couple of days ago. Brandy, she teaches at your school. Um, Brandy something. I can't think of her last name. About I sent her a message just today, but she teaches there. I don't know what she teaches, but she teaches there. All right, here we go. Let me get the bracelet and we ready, y'all. We ready for this look. Let me grab the bracelet. Did to go to PV? Did did she go to PV? Possibly. She may have. I don't. I don't remember what school she went to. But possibly, it is very possible. Hmm. Just want to make sure I'm 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 happy with the bracelet that I have. Real quick. Hold on. Let me think. I'll make sure this color combination is gonna be fun. But I'm trying to think. You said, "Oops, yes, 
She did. Oops, yes, yeah, yeah I, she may have. I'm not for sure. I have to look and see. Let's see if I can look at her name real quick. So this is what I did for this set. This is a colorful one, okay? Probably our most colorful one we did tonight, all right? And I, you see some vintage pieces, vintage bracelet um, and necklace, but you'll see that the earrings and the ring, you can't see the ring right now, but the earrings and the ring are actually more newer. So again, this is what we're basing it off of, is this necklace paired with those new convention earrings right there, that blue and green earrings, pull that out. So we're gonna kind of play on the shades of green and blue, okay? But you'll definitely see that coming out. These are hoops, really, really cute earrings, okay? Those earrings are real cute. You got even a little bit of, a uh, little bit of iridescent going on in there, okay? Very cute hoops. Then drop down to this wood bracelet. So you're gonna have that natural wood look plus two different shades of blue. Those are all wood beads. It is a stretch bracelet. It's very, very nice, okay? I'm gonna take the bracelet off for a second so you can really get into the ring. And then we'll put that bracelet back. Because that bracelet's so tall, it covers the ring. This is the ring we've chosen for that set to pull that blue out. It's a dainty stretch back ring. Again, it has a floor motif. You got the uh, that cat's eye stones going on on the outer sides and then that kind of floral motif in the metal working and a little bit of encrusted rhinestones in those pieces. Very cute ring. Again, all of that I think really creates a beautiful color palette and it just says that you're fun, flirty. It just really gives a cute, trendy look all together, okay? That's gonna be that full look. If you like any or all of the pieces of this set, we're gonna call that 446. 446. Yeah, those earrings are, aren't they? 446. You just like that green. I already know what you're looking at. 446 for this particular set. Or if you like any of the pieces of the set, but you don't want the set. 446 and let me know what pieces you want. The ring, the earrings, the bracelets, or the ring. I don't want y'all to forget that ring is there. 446 for any of those. Okay, that's going to be a really cute way to put that blue and green together. And y'all know those happen to be my favorite two uh, colors, okay? Those just happen to be my favorite two colors. So that's a really good one to end our show on. All right. All righty. I think that's gonna be it for tonight, y'all. I've, I've come, I've done it, I've y'all stuck it out with me tonight. But y'all quiet, y'all tired, and I can feel your energy. And I don't want to belabor. I thank y'all for sticking with me. Some of y'all probably went to sleep and I'm still just playing on your phone. But thank y'all for staying with me. I appreciate y'all so, 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 so much. We're going to officially close the Alabaster Box tonight. We did not hit a uh, giveaway tonight. We got close. We got up to nine uh, in here at one time. So... That was an amazing piece in itself, okay? But we're gonna get ready to get up out of here. If you see any pieces or come back and look at it, if you see any pieces that you like or any sets that you like, let me know. I would love to, um, you know, I would love to take care of you, okay? Thank you, come through Black Butterfly. <laughs> I'm done with you. I'm done with you, Miss King, all right? But thank y'all so much. We're gonna go ahead and get up out of here. I hope y'all have a good night. Um, sleep tight. Do not let those bed bugs bite and know that in the morning everything will be all right because we definitely know the God that we serve. In the words of Mother Tabitha Brown, I want you to have a great, a good day and or night. And if you cannot have a good one, don't you dare. Don't mess up nobody else's, okay? With that being said, I'm going to, uh, I want y'all to stay prayed up, masked up, covered up, sanitized up, soaked up, hygiened up, grace and mercy up, and simply hands just up and let the Lord know that you need them. And in the meantime, guys, I'm going to be praying for you, hoping that you pray for me too. And whether you do or do not, does not matter. I'm still going to pray for you. So you might as well pray for me too, because we know we need them in these troubling times. Guys, I am B. Banks. B. Banks is Alabaster Box. And I thank you for allowing me to be whatever it was I was to you tonight. Please make sure you come back, you like, you share, you tag, you do all the things that help keep me out there, but also that you share with people who would love to see the things that I did tonight. Tonight was a, a vintage night where we were mixing new and old pieces together um, and going back to some of those easier pieces that are daily pieces, not so much of the glitz and the glams and the gaudy pieces. Um, but you know, each night is a different 
for night, but we try to cater to all styles here. So every night we try to do something different so that everybody gets a different look and a different taste of what they may be looking for. With that being said, guys, I love you all. I hope you have a great, wonderful, marvelous, magnificent night. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. I got my jewelry with me. I got my jewelry. Oh, I couldn't even get out the post office trying to open this. It's a big boy. Talking it, she ain't trying it. When you own your own business, dance how you kill this. I understood you stepped out of the real pyramid scheme. I understood the assignment and manifested your own destiny. I understood the assignment. I understood the assignment. Welcome to the alabaster box. I understood the assignment.